Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, last night on Fox Sports One, we had a, a very exciting uh, sh card, top to bottom. Uh, I gotta give uh, the, the, these guys at PBC a lot of credit for this card. I thought you know it was a, a great way to uh, keep their momentum going for boxing, and, and overall, honestly, I would honestly say. And I haven't even had the chance to watch Colazzo fight, but this is probably, for me at least, might be the best car they've, they've had on top, top to bottom. And I know the main event was very exciting, but I gotta watch it. I've just, I've just seen highlights, but I haven't watched it in its entirety yet. But what I wanted to talk about in this video right here specifically was the fight that took place in the middle of the card. It was between two undefeated prospects. You had uh, in one corner a guy that uh, I, I was. You know, was and still am pretty high on it. And Cowboy Ryan Carl out of Texas, uh, he was previously undefeated. And then you had a guy who I didn't know as much about. I've never seen him fight up until last night. I just heard his name through uh, through guys like, like my good friend Adrian Granados, uh, Eddie Ramirez, another Chicago boxer, uh, Mexican boxer. But he doesn't fight like a typical Mexican. Like he was in there, he was he was showing me some stuff: head movement, counter punching, uh, everything everything pretty much probably one of the more complete performances i've seen for any fighter in a couple months i would say now uh, the f he got the stoppage eddie ramirez got a ninth round stoppage um you know ryan carl was the, the, the slightly longer taller fighter but eddie's foot speed his his body punching his uh his pan speed as well and, and just how he mixed in his combinations you know i think there was a difference in the fight um you know, it, it was very competitive. You had Eddie Ramirez early on in the fight, you know, working the body. And then you had Ryan Carl making his adjustments in the middle rounds as he began to slow him down and offsetting his superior speed with, with feints and jabs. It was just overall a great fight. And Eddie Ramirez, uh, you know, and he really stood out to me on the card. You know, I'll get to the Colazzo Sammy Vasquez fight because that was an exciting performance. But this, to me... This performance right here to me from Eddie Ramirez against a, a good prospect, Ryan Carl, who just was coming off of a very sensational win against another former Chicago Golden Gloves champion, Jose Quesada, who was previously undefeated. He destroyed him. And um, so for, for him to go in there and look as impressive as he did, I got to give Eddie a lot of credit. Now, I didn't know much about Eddie, to be honest. I just heard his name through Adrian Granado. So I hit him up I, I, after because I didn't watch the initial uh, telecast. I, I didn't get to watch it live. I just I watched it, you know, the rerun later on. And after I watched the fight, I hit up Adrian Granados and I uh, asked him to tell me what what he what he, what, he, what he knows about Eddie Ramirez, uh, how he is in the gym. And I'll read you the exact quote I got from Adrian Granados, and I'll leave the screenshot for you guys in the comments down below so you guys can see for yourself. But here's what Granados said in regards to Eddie Ramirez and, and just what he's gathered from being around him in the gym in Chicago because they both trained under uh, George Hernandez in uh, the gym over there in Garfield park here's what he said eddie is a great guy and a great fighter he's quiet disciplined and determined he comes to the gym to work and nothing else trains hard and learns from every sparring and fight it's been a pleasure watching him develop into the star he is becoming me and ed brown used to give him tough work and now work now if you're not on your a game he'll he will hand out that hard workout so uh obviously it sounds like eddie's been well well versed uh you know obviously granados and uh, you know, rest in peace, to Ed Brown. Uh, he's not here no more. But I'm saying those two guys. If, you're, if you're in the gym with guys like that every single day, you have no choice but to get better, better. And when I saw Eddie, I didn't just see your traditional, you know, Mexican boxer who comes forward, takes three punches to give one hard punch. No, no, no. I saw a guy in there who was setting up shots, picking his shots real well, um, and exploiting any weakness he saw in his opponent in Ryan Carl. I saw a very Aggressive fighter, but within his aggressiveness, he was very controlled. So uh, I was, I was, I, I really, I gotta say, I've not enjoyed a, a, a fight like that in quite some time. You know, I've, I enjoy boxing, but I, I, I've enjoyed it as much as I did that fight. That fight had everything. It had, it had, you know, obviously really good exchanges. It had hard punches. It had, you know, the more cerebral, analytical things that you look for in boxing matches. So I just enjoyed the whole fight, and I think you know, if you're looking for a guy. Um, that you've never heard of that maybe you should check out I think this guy would be one of them because I, I just heard his name to the grapevine and never watched him fight I don't really know I don't know if he's been on much on TV but uh, he can definitely fight and I'm looking forward to seeing more of this guy uh, Eddie Ramirez quick factoids on him he was uh, actually just like uh, Brian Carl's previous opponent he was a 
uh, Chicago Golden Gloves champion, but he won it in uh, 2013 at 141. Uh, so he's a Golden Gloves champion. He's 24 years old. He drives apparently 50 miles to the gym every single day uh, to train with um, Granados and George Hernandez. So he's from Aurora, Illinois, which I believe is outside of Chicago. That's, that's what they said. Eddie is also, according to what I heard on Fox Sports uh, 1 on the telecast last night, he's also a part-time barber. So that would explain why his tape line was so sharp. I mean, the dude's tape line was like was straight. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I just saw, I, when, when I watched this guy fight, I saw a composed fighter, I saw a complete fighter, and I saw someone who has a lot of potential to be, you know, a world champion in the sport, you know, he's still fairly young, you know, he's, you get a, to, to go in there and stop a guy like Ryan Cowboy Carl, you know, maybe, maybe a lot of you guys out there might not, be, might, might not be familiar with Cowboy Ryan Carl, but that, that guy was a top prospect, you know, undefeated, had been busting everybody he fought in his path up, and he made him. He made, he went in there and, and, and throughout the fight, and made Ryan call like an ordinary fighter in this, in a lot of, a lot of instances. So that's that speaks volumes to Eddie in my eyes. And um, you know, credit to Ryan Call. Ryan Call came in there. He was tough. The guy wouldn't go away. And look, I don't know yet if Ryan Carl will have the skills to be a world champion. But I can tell you one thing: he definitely has the heart and the toughness to be a world champion. So um. Hopefully, I wish nothing but the best for Ryan Carl. The dude went in there and he and, and, and he showed a lot of uh, grit and toughness, but he just couldn't overcome uh, the 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 very well versed skill set of Eddie Ramirez. And um, I'm gonna keep my eye on Eddie Ramirez and pretty much anybody that's coming out that gym in Chicago because you had you have Granados who's fighting on the 18th. You have Eddie Ramirez, who I've now just seen and familiarized myself with. You had Ed Brown before, you know, he tragically passed away. And then the one guy that Adrian Granados keeps telling me about that I keep hearing is uh, Nathaniel Gillimore, who'll be fighting soon. So I believe he fights the 10th. I'll be checking out. I don't know if he's fighting on TV, but I'll be checking out wherever I could find something on Nathaniel Gillimore. So it looks like George Hernandez uh, is doing some good things there. And it's funny because this fight was like, not just a match between two underrated prospects, but two underrated trainers in uh, George Hernandez and um, Ronnie Shields, two very two guys that don't get a lot of headlines in the sport, but have produced many solid fighters. So let me know, let me know what you guys think if you watched the Eddie Ramirez, uh, Grian Carl fight last night. If you did, what did you think about Eddie Ramirez's performance? I you know to me, I I, I, I don't like to hype up guys too much, but I mean I know where I, I know I've seen Ryan Carl fight on numerous occasions, so I know what kind of fighter he is. I know what kind of, and I know what I'm watching. Eddie Ramirez went in there and he put on a world class performance, and he looks like he'll be fighting for a world title within the next couple of years. The dude has it all, in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about uh, Eddie Ramirez. I'll leave you the Granados quote down below so you guys can see what he said about him. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.